Hi, this is Mike Seifert coming at you from New Michigan Realty. And today we're talking with Nick Najjar. He's one of our associates here at the company. Nick, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm happy and glad to be with you here at the, at the company. Well, thank you, Nick. And Nick, um, you know, how long have you been in the real estate business for? I've been in real estate since 1995. That's about 23 years. About 23 years, yeah. Yes. And, uh, you know, what attracted you to, you know, New Michigan Realty? Many reasons. Number one is the location. It's very uh, close to everywhere, north, south, east, west. The location is perfect, close to the freeways. Number two, the system of the company. The system is a great system. It gives the freedom to the agent, and there's not high charges. There's not many right. charges to the agents. And as I said, the freedom. And beside that, the broker, Mike, right. easy to <laughs> work you. with. This Thank is the many, many, one of the many reasons I joined the company. Okay, great. Well, you know, I appreciate all that, the kind words, and um, you know, I'm hoping you, you know, have great success here this year sure. at the company. So, um, you know, I wanted to ask you, Nick, you know, what type of real estate do you actually specialize in? I remember you were telling me, um, besides residential, you actually did a lot of commercial real estate mm -hmm. um, and actually uh, buying and selling the businesses. Can you talk to me a little bit about sure. uh, that experience? You know, I residential, I do residential and I do commercial. Every kind of business opportunity from gas stations to the liquor store, hotel, motel, shopping center, office building, apartment buildings, restaurants, whatever business is for sale, I specialize on. I own and operate it myself personally over 30 businesses last 30 years. So besides I sell the, the commercial, I have an in, in inside information about how to run the business because I own and operate gas station, liquor stores, hotel, motel, bakery, restaurant in the last 30 years, 35 years. Sure, sure. So I have the knowledge of inside and outside the business. Most agents, they have an, a knowledge of the books. They read the books sure, or sure. they have some experience for outside the books. I have the experience for first hand using or running the business. So my knowledge is... I know about every single business because I own and operate over 30 businesses. So you're, you're well diversified in different areas of business um, and, you know, buying and selling commercial. So, um, so you know, if you're out there and you're looking for commercial real estate, um, you know, we're actually expanding into that this year. Nick can definitely help you out. Um, Nick, you know, that's why we have, we're yes. honored to have Nick in our company because he does have a lot of knowledge. Besides um, that, my son is a builder, an engineer, architect. He built in homes. Sure. Uh, we are in that field too. If somebody, somebody want to build homes, my son is, as I said, he's an architect, engineer, and good, at the okay. same time he's a builder. He's doing a good job. So we, I work with my son too. To anybody want to build a house, we build the houses for people. I lease commercial properties. Anybody have a shopping center, office building, apartment okay. building, I can work with them as a as an sure. agent okay. to lease that properties. Uh, we we do developments. Anybody want to buy property, want to develop it to from trees to a shopping center or whatever you want to. So you've pretty out. much seen everything. In the I last do everything years. in real estate except yeah. one thing. One thing I don't do. I don't do residential rental. Rental. Right. That's right, the okay. only thing I don't do. Everything yeah. else on real estate from A to Z. Whatever you think about it, I do it. Yeah, well, residential, uh, you know, as you know, leasing property can be tough sometimes. Yes. You know, finding the right people. and The time. The time consuming. And the time. Time yeah. consuming. It is very high time consuming. Yeah. And uh, there are some agents I know working with us in the same sure. office, like Razuk. He does, right. he does the residential sure. leases. Yep. So we can refer the business to if right, somebody right. wants. You have to have an appetite for residential leases. I mean, it's sure. it's not it's a challenging part of the business. But, yes. Um, and so, you know, obviously... You know, that's what you specialize in. I was going to ask you, you know, specific questions, but you already answered my questions. Um, you know, Nick, what do you uh, enjoy most about being in the real estate field? What, what do you enjoy most about the field of real estate? See, real estate business is a great business, rewarding business. If you work hard and you know how to work and be honest and straight with your client, the, this job, this field, it give you good rewards. Mm -hmm. It gives you good income and sure. give you freedom. You're not eight to five in the office any time, every day, five days a week. You have the freedom to be your own boss because you are a contractor. You're not an employee. Sure, sure. Uh, that's to make it very easy because if I want to schedule to, tomorrow, if I have a doctor appointment or have a personal uh, appointment or a yeah, family, you can go family and... sickness or I myself am sick, I have freedom not to call my boss and uh, right, tell right. me not to worry I'm, about. I call my client and I respect that. Uh, second thing, 
it's give you a time, whatever you want. If you want to make a million dollars a year, you can make a million. You want to make a sure. dollar a year, you can make a year, a dollar a year. You have to work, and it's how excited you are, or how hardworking person you are. Sure. And that's number one. Number two, it, I I get commu in communication with a lot of people, so I I create a lot of friendship before they become my client. Sure. The most important thing to earn the trust of my client. If my client they they trusted me, they will. I, I have a many many clients been. Some of them, when I started the real estate, right. their kids were two, three years old now. Their kids graduated from the school. <laughs> right. uh, they're in college. They get married, and they want to buy a house. So I create the relationship with the families and, and, the, and the residential, sure. and I create a good business a relationship with the people they buy a business. That's, so I, I enjoy uh, helping when I see the client, when I give them the key for the house, they're right. smiling, happy. Or when I go to their businesses, store, gas station, restaurant, whatever they have, they buy. When I go there, they offer me a drink or they offer me a food or they offer me something. They smile, they're very happy. Or refer a customer to me. Sure. A sure. lot of, in our business, the best the best thing you can do to an agent is give them a referral because you can advertise as much as you want. You can spend money as much as you want. But if you don't earn a trust of the customers, right. a referral is the best the best thing you can do to the agent. Right. And the, the trust and integrity is very important. And doing, the right, doing right by the client. You know, if sure. you know the client shouldn't be buying a specific, a specific business or they shouldn't be buying a specific commercial piece of property, then, you know, you have to at least advise them, hey, this may not be good for you. If they still want to buy it, at least you tried. The client normally, when they come to the agent, especially on the first time, if they buy a house or a business, they put the faith on you. They have a faith on you to do the right thing for them. Right. That's the reason I said referral and experience make a difference. If sure. you are an agent with a good experience, I sold 2,500 homes last 23 years, and I sold over 700 businesses. So I gain a lot of experience. And another thing, I want that customer who I have a sell them a house or a business, I want him to repeat that relationship. Sure. I want him to refer me to other people. So to me, I put myself always in the shoe of the buyer. I said, if I'm buying this house, if I'm buying this business, then I'm going to buy it myself. If I, is it good for me? If I think it's good for me, I'll encourage my buyer to buy it. Sure, sure. Yeah. Or the seller. Sometimes they ask me, I have to be faithful with my Some, some sellers, they want to tap dollars. And I, if I put it that type of not going to sell. So I have to be an honest with the sellers, to tell them what's the market price today, to be fair with the customer, not to overpriced or underpriced. Right. So and, and, you know, as you know, pricing is very important with yes. real estate. If it's, you know, if it's overpriced, it could stay in the market for months. It might look like, you know, you're not doing your job. Uh, but if it's underpriced, it sells too quick. Maybe you could have gotten more money for them. Yeah, but, you know, you cannot do, as I said, you have to be a fair Market price. You know, right. You have, you have to be discretionary and you have to look at the facts. Sure. So, you know, like one thing that uh, really impressed me, and um, you actually joined um, the U.S. military, the U.S. Army yes. uh, back in, I think, 2008. 2008. Yes. And um, you were like an older gentleman, actually, when you joined. Um, can you tell me, uh, tell us, our watchers out there, our viewers, that a uh, little bit about your experience in the Army and what you did? Um, and, uh, Share some of that sure. with us. Normally in the Army, the cutoff year to be in TT and allowed to join the Army is 42 years. You cannot be out for 42. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time I joined, I was 48. Wow, 48. <laughs> yes, but the Army made an exception. The reason I have a radio show, uh, I do radio show. I have two, two, two programs. One sure. they're called Real Estate and Investment. The other one they called Movers and Shakers. So the real estate investment, I talk about real estate, I well, talk I about the market. What, what radio stations are you on? The 690 AM. 690 AM. Every Wednesday, okay. every Wednesday at 1.30 PM, 1.30 today. Today so is folks, Wednesday. Nick's actually on the radio every Wednesday. Between 1.30 and 2.00. 1.30 and 2.00. 690 AM. Okay, if you ever want to listen to him, feel free to turn on that channel and uh, he'll be there. Sure. So that time, uh, that's a problem. The other show I have, they're called Movers and Shakers. I interview all the politicians, business people. I interview, you know, every kind of mayors, congressmen, senators, chief of police, sure. every, wow. I, a variety of uh, professionals, sure. uh, politicians. One time I had 2008 U.S. Army, they were recruiting uh, people to go to Iraq to translate, linguists. Sure. So they can they, they contact me because I speak multiple languages. I speak four languages. Well, speak, what kind uh, of languages do you speak? I speak uh, English, Greek, Arabic, and Chaldean. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so Aramaic. four languages. Wow. Yeah, four languages. So the army came to me and they said, we, have, we need to you know, pay you to, to get an interview to hire people. 
so we can recruit people as a linguist to go to Iraq. When we finished the program, after we finished, I left two hours later, I get a call from one of the general was in the show. Sure. He said, I need to meet with you in person outside of the radio. So we went, we met at the hotel they were staying. He said, you know, we have a U.S. arm, U.S. media in Iraq. They are operating in Iraq, like CNN, ABC, CBS, Fox News. We have Iraqi media, but we don't have Iraqi American media. Somebody American, but he speaks the language and he knows the cultures and origin I'm from Iraq. Uh, sure. So I speak the language. I know the culture. I know the history. He said, we need somebody from media to cover the American uh, operation in Iraq, uh, wow. but he speaks the language and he knows sure. the history of Iraq. So do you want to join with us? I said, you know, I do, only I do about real estate and I talk about real estate in my shows. I talk about politics. What do you want me to do? That's my, the medium. He said, no, no, you did a good job. We were very happy for an hour and right. the interview with us. He did a great job. He picked up very fast. Can you go to Iraq? We want to hire you. I wow. said, I'm a real estate agent. I'm <laughs> 48 years old. Right. He said, uh, do you love your country? I said, yes, I do. I love America. I've been in America 35 years. And I right, right. He said, you know what? You're going to pack and leave. Just, he, I said, sir, I'm not your soldier. I was joking with him. Right, right. He said, effective this moment, you're my soldier. <laughs> so I went to have an interview in Washington, D.C. Wow. Okay. And they asked me to, to assemble a, a team of media. Uh, they, are, they speak both languages. They know both cultures. We put six, seven people together. And wow. we, in 2008, I traveled to Iraq. I served about 15 months in, in Iraq as a media advisor. Then I came back. I went to uh, uh, Fort Leavenworth in Kansas City. Uh, I stayed there about a year. I trained the Army. I, before they deployed to Iraq, sure, wow. all, all the Army, all the officers, I used to train them about language, history, culture, and stuff wow. like this. Yeah. Then 2011, the U.S. Army pulled out of Iraq. The program was ended. But I'm still in contact with the U.S. Army. I still help with this as much well, as I that's, can. Well, that's quite a story. And first, I want to thank you for thank you. your service to thank our you country. Very much. Appreciate it. Um, that uh, takes a lot of courage to you know do something of that um, caliber, especially you know when you're a little bit older, gentleman, uh, to risk your life to go out there and you know do linguistics uh, or you know language translations. Um, so, anyways, um, Nick, is there anything else that uh, you yeah? Want to I just add say to something. I came to this country in 1983. I'm originally from Iraq, and I came with twenty-five dollars in my pocket. Twenty-five dollars. I came to this country. This country gave me the freedom of speech. Gave me freedom of religion. We were persecuted back home in Iraq. We Christians. Uh, they gave me freedom of everything I can, and they opened the doors for me to be entrepreneurs. Sure. I benefit from this country a lot. This this country is my country today. I've been 35 years in this country. So to me, giving back, that's the least I can do. Yes. It's yeah. the least I can do, join the army, join the police officers. Well, we commend you for that. I, I mean, that's, just help in the yeah. community, involve in politics, involve in every way beside the business. I I committed 10 hours a week. Every every sure. week I committed 10 hours for a volunteer job in different capacities in the, in the U.S., as a government, as individuals. So I love this country. It gave me everything I can, I, and any human being could dream. If you, it, it's a lot of people, they don't understand, and they don't know, they don't know how precious we have life in America. America is a, a land of an opportunity, not only sure. the money, not only this. You can be millionaire, you can be, you know, homeless. Right. But you, up to you, what do you want to do? But I came, as I said, I came with twenty-five dollars in my pocket. Things got them flourishing in this country. My kids all born here. I got married here. My kids all born. My son is an architect and engineer. My daughter, she's a dentist. My sure. other son is an uh, an appraisal business, and I have a little son, fifteen years old, still in high school. So we did very good. So at least, and anybody, every person in, in this country should give an hour or two a week at least for a volunteering job to help homeless, to help. Any, in any capacity, that's a great thing you can do, a noble thing to do. Everyone, sure. Every one of us, you could spare a couple hours to, to volunteer. Right. Well, Nick, I'm very honored that you've Thank you come into much. our organization. And um, I think we're going to have a great uh, year this year. And um, Appreciate again, if uh, you want to contact Nick Najar uh, about any type of commercial real estate, feel free to contact him. Nick, is there a website or anything that you should yeah, go my, to? Yeah, my phone number is very easy. It's 586 Two zero six nine thousand 
586-206-9000 or website najarnick.com n-a-j-j-a-r nick n-i-c-k dot com najarnick dot com you can view my website look at all the businesses they have I do residential and commercial anywhere Oklahoma Common Wayne this is three counties in the residential and commercial anywhere in the state of Michigan okay Nick well thanks for your time thank you again and, uh, we're going to uh, conclude right now thank and uh, have a great day and maybe uh, wish a happy summer to everyone okay great